Home quarantine is a way of voluntarily limiting movement to prevent the spread of the virus. Close contacts to patients with COVID-19 are quarantined to prevent additional infection of the community, thus breaking the cycle of infection. If you have any COVID-19 symptoms, if you've been examined at the screening center, if you've been in contact with a confirmed patient, you are subject to home quarantine. To prevent the spread of the infection, those who are quarantined at home are prohibited from leaving their location of quarantine. They must be isolated in a designated space. They must have the door closed, but open the window frequently for ventilation. They must stay isolated in a designated place with private bathroom and sink. If they were to use a public bathroom or a sink, they must disinfect with a disinfectant after use. All items for use must be disposable or personal. Doing laundry, having meals, and dishwashing must all be done in quarantine. The family or the cohabitants of the person being quarantined are provided with the guidance to not contact the person being quarantined and to follow personal hygiene practices. If any of the cohabitants work in an environment where contact with others is inevitable, they are advised to stay home for some time. The person being quarantined must adhere to daily guidelines such as contacting the local health center in case of having to leave their place of quarantine to visit a hospital or for any other necessary reasons. The Korean government operates a team dedicated to self-quarantine management to support home quarantined people. The team is comprised of support teams headed by the Director General of Disaster Management Policy Bureau and officers in charge of each province and city. The team dedicated to home quarantine management is operated by multiple levels of management units to maintain a 24-hour monitoring system. Those subject to home quarantine are issued notice of quarantine from the local health center and are also assigned a case officer for a one-to-one -one basis monitoring. The assigned case officers contact those in quarantine twice a day via phone to monitor symptoms such as fever and shortness of breath until their mandatory quarantine period is over. The case officers also support those in quarantine by purchasing and delivering medicines and daily necessities for them. Furthermore, counseling services are provided to those in quarantine. If you are home quarantined, you must install this app. The two key functions of the app are self-check and GPS-based location tracking. Self-Quarantine Safety Protection app was developed to support communication between those in quarantine and the assigned case officers. The self-check results namely on the main four symptoms including fever, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, are automatically reported to the assigned case officer twice a day. If the person in quarantine leaves their location, the GPS-based location tracking function automatically notifies the officer. 
The authorities encourage mandatory return by persuading and notifying the violators on fines that may be imposed or through other means. Those who leave their location without any justifiable reasons may be subject to legal liabilities or be enforced with forceful isolation in accordance with the one strike out policy. Only rigorous adherence to the rules, meticulous management, and stern countermeasures will be able to prevent the spread of the COVID-19. In the next video, we will take time to learn about the effective treatment in patient management system.